Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about popular slang term. Before I start this topic, can you recall a time when you talked to a foreigner, and you didn't understand some of the words or phrases that he or she was using during the conversation? Yes, there's a high possibility that they were using slang. English speaker all over the world are using slang in their daily life. So, what is slang? First, slang is an informal language. This is a language you do not use with your boss or in professional settings. This is a type of language you use with your friends or, you know, other people in your age group socially. Second, this is a way to show your identity in a group. You show that you are cool. You are very, very trendy. So at last, slang changes a lot. This is a po- popular vocabulary at a certain time that quickly becomes unpopular as time goes on. So slang changes. What is popular vocabulary now is not going to be popular vocabulary in five years. That's important to remember. So we use slang to sound up to date or sound cool. I'm now going to introduce you some popular slang you need to know in twenty twenty one. In order to understand YouTubers, streamers, or the famous idol, term number one is lit. I know in literal sense, lit is past simple past and past participle of light, but here it means when something is very good, enjoyable, or exciting. Instead of saying this party is really enjoyable, this party is very fun, you can say this party is lit. This term is widely adopted by Americans in their daily life. When they find that something is cool, or even your dress looks cool, they will say, "Oh, your dress is lit," to emphasize the coolness of an object. Term number two is goat. I know literally it means an animal related to sheep that usually has horn or a beard, but now here is actually an acronym. Acronym is an abbreviation consisting of the first letters of each word in the name of something. So go here means greatest of all time. Instead of saying Mira is the best band in the world, you can say Mira is my favorite band. They are definitely the goat. So they are the greatest of all time in your heart. Turn number three on fleek. When you say something is on fleek, they are usually perfectly done or perfectly groomed. Here is an Instagram photo taken from Marv, a member of the Hong Kong's latest girl group, Caller from Few TV's hit show Kingmaker Four. So in this photo, Marv commented on a photo that those eyebrows are on fleek. Ha ha. She's trying to imply that the eyebrows in the drawings are perfectly done. So when you say someone that who just made her eyebrow or something, you you can say your eyebrows are perfectly done. They're on fleek. Term number four, salty. Of course, you can say salty when a food contains lots of salt and then you find it very salty. But in terms of slang. It means you're bitter or argumentative because of being upset. Here is an example. Sherry got salty after her childish classmates make fun of her. Sometimes we use salty when you actually get jealous of something or you feel very angry because she's done better than you. Term number five, dead. I'm pretty sure everyone understands what dead is. So literally, some people. Is dead. They are. They died, but now it means very funny and hilarious. So after you watch the famous TV show on Game Season Two from Few TV, you find it really hilarious, and then, and then it forces you to be hyperbolic. So you can say, "I'm dead." After watching be on Game Season Two from Few TV. I hope you understand more about slang term, and you can try to use it in your daily life, or try to use it when you talk to a foreigner or when you talk to English speakers all over the world. But remember, don't use it in your homework or assignment. It it's only for 
in four bow settings.